Reflexive verbs is a grammatical topic which shows the most pronounced differences between English and German we've encountered so far. That makes it very interesting, but it's also an area where we have to think and breathe German to get it right. And we can only do this through practice. It helps you get the reflexive forms correct if you remain aware of what you're actually expressing in German, namely that it is grammatically you who is creating anger, interest, boredom, etc. in yourself, and that you do all sorts of grooming actions caringly to yourself as opposed to somebody else. Isn't it a nice way of behaving? Pampering yourself and being in charge of your own emotional well-being. Let's get into it then. Marcel Marceau. If you've never heard of this most famous of all mimes or want to be reacquainted with him, have a look at the websites on your screen. We're not asking you to be quite as accomplished as him, but it doesn't take that much to mime cleaning your teeth or washing your hands. So that's what we want you to do. And I'm afraid you can only really do this with a partner. Be it live or on Skype, you really have to see them. It's very simple. You just take terms to mime any kind of grooming activity expressed reflexively in German and your partner has to describe what you're doing. Use the familiar du form as in du rasierst dich. You probably know each other well enough to use du by now. You can also refer to our activity 2 and 3 exercises and insist on detailed grooming with your partner having to specify which part of your body you're washing etc. as in Du wäschst dir die Hände or Du kämmst dir die Haare. So you get used to the dative reflexive pronouns too. To help you along, we'll give you a list of the reflexive grooming verbs to choose from for your mining acts. Sich waschen, sich die Hände, die Haare etc. waschen. These will be used with dative reflexive pronouns. Sich schminken, to put makeup on. Sich kämmen, to comb one's hair. Sich die Haare bürsten. To brush one's hair. Sich rasieren. To shave. Sich duschen. To have a shower. Sich anziehen. To get dressed. Sich ausziehen. To undress. Sich den Pullover anziehen. Sich die Hose ausziehen. These will be used with the dative reflexive pronoun. Sich die Zähne putzen. To brush one's teeth, used with the dative reflexive pronoun. Sich die Nase putzen. To blow one's nose. Sich setzen auf. To sit down on. Live, alive and even livid. Well, for this one we had to do a bit of the Marcel Marceau ourselves, and we hope we did it well enough to get the idea across. What we're trying to do is mime some actions and emotions for you to guess at and to express reflexively in German. In case you find our miming somewhat obscure, we added a list of verbs for you to choose from. For each photo, you'll have to guess what the person is feeling or occasionally doing. Use the third person singular, er or sie, and use whole sentences. So, if the person is cowering in front of a dog, write Er fürchtet sich vor dem Hund. You can also do it with a partner as a contest. The quickest to come up with the sentence wins. If this seems too hard for you, or you simply want to double-check your answers, you can go into the pod basket where you'll find all the correct sentences that go with the photos. As an initial and much easier exercise, you could just match up photos and sentences. Then, as a second step, you can have a go at the game proper. Here's the verb list. Sich amüsieren. To enjoy oneself. Sich ärgern über. Plus the accusative. To be annoyed at or about. Sich beeilen. To hurry. Sich benehmen. To behave. Sich erinnern an. Plus accusative, to remember. Sich erkälten. To catch a cold. Sich entschuldigen bei. To apologize to. Sich freuen auf. Plus accusative, 
to look forward to. Sich freuen über. Plus accusative, to be happy about. Sich gut oder schlecht fühlen. To feel good, bad, etc. Sich fürchten vor. Plus the dative. To be afraid of. Sich interessieren für. Plus the accusative. To be interested in. Sich langweilen. To be bored. Sich setzen. To sit down. Sich verlieben in. Plus the accusative. To fall in love with. Sich verspäten. To be late. To come too late. Your morning ritual. Have you ever thought about what you actually do every morning and whether you do it the same way every time? I bet you have a routine happening, except maybe on weekends or after partying. Anyway, what we want you to do is to become aware of your morning ritual and describe it for us. Of course, you won't use reflexive verbs exclusively, as you hardly eat yourself for breakfast, but you will use a good few of them, I'm sure. It's also good to use little words like Zuerst First Dann Then Und dann And then Später Later Schließlich Finally Or exact times Um 8 Uhr To express the sequence of events more elegantly. And remember that the finite verb comes second, so you would say Dann putze ich mir die Zähne. If you have a study buddy, it might be interesting to exchange information and see how your morning rituals differ. You might even change your habits as a result.